Yo, what is going on, Flaps and Chaps? My name is Jan Tanda, and today I'm bringing you guys a gameplay on the map Standoff using the Peacekeeper with the kill streaks I have is Stealth, the Stealth Chopper, the Lodestar, and the VTOL. And the reason why I'm telling you the kill streaks is because they're pretty important in this game. Let me tell you. All right, so uh, what I want to quickly talk about, or oh, not really quickly, I want to make this a nice long video, is the PS4. Now, um, I was walking around the st uh, store in Rockingham, or in my local store, um, on the weekend, and I went past EB Games, which is the store that you can go to to buy all your games and stuff like that. Um, <coughs> sorry, guys. And um, I f saw that you could pre-order the PS4. Now, it wasn't official. It wasn't like a big banner. It was just like a cardboard banner that they made themselves. That they read up their cells. They wrote PS4, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it said pre-order minimum 50 bucks. So I went in, um, asked about it first before I, like, um, you know, obviously... Uh, just went like just quickly bought it and I got a pen in my hand and a piece of paper in front of me guys so I really want to like uh talk to you to to you about this thoroughly and um <clears throat> I went in and I asked the lady and the, the chick was pretty hot so I was like yeah alright let's do this <laughs> see how much she knows about gaming and if she does <laughs> like win anyway um um I went in there and said you know so what's up with the PS4 I haven't really heard any news about it and I haven't really researched much about it until now I did research for the video but anyway um, and the lady said that, or the chick, not the lady, she's pretty young, um, pretty fit too, she said, um, the, I, I said, so what's the specs and, uh, the price and all that sort of stuff, is this legit, can I get my money back, and et cetera, et cetera, and she said, yeah, um, uh, she said the controller apparently is touchscreen, um, and, uh, they said that they've told them that it's touchscreen and you can share things, so, like, you can have the YouTube, Twitter, Facebook thing on the touchscreen, and if you want to quickly share this to Facebook, you just click it, drag it, and it'll go to Facebook really quickly, like you have on that Razer keyboard nowadays, that you can push the button and it'll automatically click up to Facebook, etc, etc. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I said, you know, how much is the price initially, because obviously I'm pre-ordering 50 bucks, the minimum, the, just the, um, lay, lay down deposit right there, and she goes, we'll be looking at about $800, uh, they said they want $800 for it, so I said, eh, you know, I paid 400 for my, 450 $500 for my PS3, so, uh, you know, I was expecting a very big price for it, but, you know, $800, guys, do you reckon that's a bit too much? She said 900 800 um, so what do you reckon, guys, do you reckon that's a bit much, do you reckon that's legit? Um... It's, I personally think that it's a bit of a, a big price to ask for, um, but I did some research and I asked the lady, you know, the specs and stuff, and this is what, I'm going to tell you what she told me, and then I d I'll tell you the research that I got. So she told me there's going to be four, like, uh, dual core processors in there, um, a very good, like, just very good standard um, quality graphics cards, and um, apparently it's going to live up to the standards of their 720. Um, now apparently the 720 has a built-in HDM, uh, HDPVR or an Elgato, or just a screen recorder. Now, I would like to see if PS4 quickly chuck that in there now. I'm not sure if they have already got it, and they're just keeping it behind their belt, or if they just haven't put it in there, or if they have, and they're just not telling us, or just keeping it behind their belt, or they have told us already. I'm not sure. I haven't really researched <coughs> over too much about it, but I just want to tell you that you know, I pre-ordered it and stuff like that. Um, uh, and, yeah, the lady said it was refundable. Everything I could, um, I could always refund the price. And I um, told my parents, like, guys, I've pre-ordered the PS4. And my dad's face was like, what? And, um, because I work very hard for my money. Uh, you know, I'm really young, so my job isn't the best. I get very minimal wage. And I pre-ordered the PS4. And he was like, dude. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> He's like, dude, the PS4, man. Come on, why are you, like, you going to buy that? I said, come on, it's, it's PS4. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be good, uh, hopefully. And I, I said to him, i got, like, eight months to save up all that money and... The lady said I can pay it like ten bucks a week, ten bucks a month, however much I want to pay. Uh, so that's pretty good. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go in there and take my money back because I went into school today and I was like, guys, I pre-ordered the PS4 and they were like, dude, now you're gonna have to buy all the new games. Which what I'm gonna go on to next. Um, you can't actually use your PS3 games for the PS4, which is understandable. Um, I already pretty much knew that. I kind of already knew that from like earlier videos of people and also the fact that. You know, it it was gonna happen. It happened with um the PlayStation Two, and it's probably gonna it's gonna it happens with the PlayStation Four. I don't understand why they're doing it because it didn't happen with the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Are uh, the Xbox and the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty? Oh, did it? No. Yeah, actually, you could play a few Xbox games on the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. I'm not sure if you can play the old Xbox games on the new Xbox Three Hundred and Sixties, but the first Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty I got, you could actually play the games. And um, so yeah, um, 
That's pretty much oh, it. Sorry, I'm trying not to look at the commentary because I'm talking and the commentary is on the screen in front of me. And if I look, I get distracted. So, and that's why I got the pen and paper out because I I want to make this a good video. Um, so can't use all games. Sorry, just ticking these off. Yeah. Um, now the specs that um the lady told me and the lady said that uh they, oh no sorry the specs that the website told me and I went onto the website and I went onto a few and it said pretty much the same thing. So legit a mentally ish sort of much type thingy, uh, I guess you could say, and the specs were 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, which is what my computer has now, so that's pretty good, um, and I'm obviously going to be upgrade, updating my 8 gigabytes soon, but the specs were 8 gigs of RAM, uh, 3.0 USB slots, uh, very good Bluetooth system, and 8 core uh, eight uh, core processors, um, which is 4 dual processors, I believe, I'm not sure if 4 dual and 8 core, 8, I'm not sure if 4 dual core processors and eight core processors are different or if they're the same but um, I'm not sure guys don't quote me on that one uh, so um, yeah that's pretty much all I've wrapped wrapped up for this um, little video uh, I just wanted to pr uh, just quickly say that I did pre-order the PS4 and let me know in the comments guys what you reckon should I um, take my money back should I wait for the 720 um, yeah just I, I really want to hear some feedback from you guys because that's always a good thing if I hear some feedback from here, excuse me, um, I muddle up my words when I'm in a commentary, I always, like, never speak properly, I need to work on that, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna tick off these now, um, uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for the PS4, um, uh, whether or not I do get it or not, I probably will, because I always, I always have been a PS4 fanboy, um, but, yeah, let me know in the comments what you reckon. Do you reckon you guys are getting the 720, the Xbox, uh, the PS4? Are you going to stick with your PS3 or your Xbox 360? Um, what do you reckon? I mean, I'm definitely down for buying the PS4. Um, my parents aren't, but um, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I can't wait. Uh, oh, and also, the lady did mention, that's what, um, the lady did mention that there's going to be some new games coming out on the PS4 um, that I've for completely forgotten. Something like Dead Space, Assassin's Creed, the new one, uh, Skyrim. I, I I honestly can't remember, guys. But apparently, she said that um these were all like pretty like top secret games and not top secret because obviously they told them. But she's not supposed to tell the customers because you know I'm pretty good looking and all, and she was pretty hot. And I reckon she had the hearts for me. She told me the games. Um, so yeah, guys, look out for them. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right. I'm right? <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'll go over there and slap her in the face. I'll be like, bitch, get in the kitchen. Like, just, just no, you shouldn't be here. Just get just get in the kitchen, girl. <laughs> just get in the kitchen, girl. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. I have pre-ordered it. Uh, if you guys can go and pre-order now, I'm not sure if you can, but this store, it's not the best trusted store. I mean, it's called EB Games. I'm not sure if you guys have it in your country or uh, wherever you guys are. Um, I'm not quite sure, but... They always have discounts on that seem unlegit, and uh, I net they're pretty expensive there. So I'm not sure if I should trust it, but I can get my money back. I hope. Um, my dad said I can't. My dad said that they'll give it back to me in store credit. So like they'll give back, they'll give me fifty bucks worth of store credit, which means I can get like a fifty buck game for free, or like fifty dollars off a game. So I, I'm pretty scared about that because I kind of got the um I kind of pre-ordered without my parents' permission, so kind of gay, but um. Yeah, we'll just see what happens there. So, I do want to thank you for watching this video, guys. My name is BJ Antenna. If you like the video, and then click the like button below. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Till then, love you all. Bye bye.